Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get straight to it. In today's video you will find out how the price of NEO has changed and what the technical indicators RSI, divergence, stochastic RSI and MACD are showing. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. Looking at the NEO hourly time frame, the price moved down with around 3.2% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 11.3. And the move wasn't very strong as the volume wasn't very high. Jumping to the hourly relative strength index, the current hourly RSI of 30 is in the lower region, which means that the price is oversold and a rebound or some kind of consolidation is possible. On the lookout for divergences in the hourly time frame, there is a bullish divergence, which means we can expect the price going up or at least to remain stable for some time. Looking at the hourly stochastic RSI, we can see that the crypto is being oversold because the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the lower region. A change in the trend can be expected or for the crypto to remain at least stable for some time. The trend has shifted upwards because the K line is currently located above the D line. Jumping to the hourly MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. However, the MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently shifting to the upside and it could be expected that the price will consolidate for some time and you should wait to see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. Looking at the 3 hourly relative strength index, the current 3 hourly RSI of 31 is in the lower region which means that the price is oversold and a rebound or some kind of consolidation is possible. Looking at the 3 hourly stochastic RSI, we can see that the crypto is being oversold because the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the lower region. A change in the trend can be expected or for the crypto to remain at least stable for some time. However, the K line still hasn't crossed the D line, so it should be waited to see if the trend will actually change to the upside. Moving to the 3 hourly MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line. But it's expected for the price to remain the same for some time because the MACD histogram shows that the momentum at the moment is shifting upwards. You should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. Moving to the daily relative strength index, the current daily RSI is at 57 so there are currently no signs of the crypto being overbought or oversold. Jumping to the daily stochastic RSI, there are no signs of the stochastic RSI being oversold or overbought at this time, but we can see that the trend is currently going down because the K line is below the D line. Moving to the daily MACD, the MACD line is above the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the upside. However, the MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently shifting to the downside and it could be expected that the price will consolidate and it is better to wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bearish. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching and know that every few hours new videos are uploaded analyzing different cryptocurrencies, so be sure to hit subscribe and not miss out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you ASAP. Also, keep in mind that you should make your own investment decisions as cryptocurrency trading is very risky and these daily videos only an overview of trends and are a purely technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. See you next time. time.